Hello and welcome back everybody to a brand new FTB Infinity Expert Mode. We are here in our storage room, or is it really storage room anymore? Emmy room, we'll call it. But we need to put some more things through that elven portal, don't we? Yes, indeed we do. We need to put through the arcane plinth. That was the whole point of this entire thing. So, we need a couple of arcane pedestals and the null catalyst. Now, null catalysts are pretty sweet in the form that you can double them no matter what. So, you do only need to make one of these. So, I'm going to get everything that I need in order for that. So, let's see. We need a nether star first of all. Good. Only 6,200. You know what? My wither skeleton skull production really not that great um, so we need that and we need to get the null catalyst now I'm not sure what is all involved with these an arcane pedestal okay so we can do that as well seems like it's a little thumb crafty this morning um, we need to get a bucket of water I really need to get like ever full urns everywhere <laughs> Just to fill up like these and the witchery stuff and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, so the Null Catalyst, let's deal with that guy first. This guy needs Ordo, Precantio, Mortis, and Alienus. Okay, what do we have available to us in our little system here? Let's see. We have Examinus, Bestia, Metalum, Inferno, Lucra, Modus. Okay, none of the above that we were talking about. But we do have some that we can get some from vials. So let's grab four vials here and cruise on up and see what all we can get. Okay, uh, we need Ordo, good. We need Precantio, we don't have much of that, do we? Holy cow. Um, we needed, what else did we need? I forgot, it's fine. Mortis and Alienus. Okay, Alienus we have for sure. Now, Mortis. I don't think we have Mortis anywhere. Hmm. No, I don't see it. So, what is going to give us some Mortis in our grand scheme of all the things? No, I don't want to learn about pecs. All right. Uh, Mortis. There it is right there. So, heads. Bones. Ooh, bones might be a good one. Let's do some bones up in here. We can do that quite easily. Let's grab, you know what? Let's do 32. Yeah, 32 should be enough for now. Good. I always forget about my remote order, but it's so useful. Let's, yeah, that'll work great. And that gives us some corpus as well. So we'll get those burning up. And that should give us mortis upstairs as well. Um, and that will allow us to then craft our first ever Null Catalyst. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet overall. Um, let's get up here and wait for it to come through. Come on, Mortis. You're going to end up right here. I'm waiting for you. Come on. You know, it's interesting. After my food poisoning and all that, it was really hard to get back into the swing of things. You know, like, when you're in the vibe like I was all of December and most of January, you're just cruising, right? You're just vibing. But uh, why is it not coming in here? Game? Did you break? Did you break or something? There's a whole bunch. You have no power. Oh. Oh. Oh, why do you have no power? Okay. Because of that. Oh, all right. Um, not great. Uh, let's see. I, apparently, I need to fix that. Um, yeah. Apparently, when I rearranged this, I screwed this up somehow. So, let's see. So, we're just sending. We want to be receiving as well from the side there. Is that a thing? Let's push... We want to pull from there. That should give us power, no? Power in. Okay. It should be going. Why is it not? It's not getting power for some reason. Okay. 
let's do a push pull on that. And let's configure this. We'll just do hmm an output for now, I guess. This will work for now. Uh, not ideal. I might have to rearrange that a little bit, but all in due time. I'll clean that up and fix it. So that should be working now. It is. Good. And we should have the file now upstairs. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. There's our mortise. Okay, so we have everything that we need. Let's jump on down to our crucible here and get crafting our null catalyst. So, drop in all these things and then our nether star. Beautiful. Zero waste as well. That's perfect. So now, I want to make more of these. So we need a null catalyst, blaze powder, magma cream, and a strengthened catalyst. Okay, let's quickly jump on over to the storage room and get some of this ready to go. So blaze powder. You know, I should probably make a decent amount of these. Maybe I'll do like 16 or something like that. Um, that might be a good idea, just to have a little bit of an extra backlog of null catalysts. I'm sure they're used for other things as well. Uh, so that'll be our magma cream and that. We needed nether wart for the one thing, right? For the strengthened catalyst, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, nullified leather, wolf trap. Oh yeah, there's there's a decent amount of stuff. Oh, the conjuration catalyst. Very nice. There's a lot of different things that this is used for. So, yeah, that's good. The strength and catalyst is bone meal and that. Okay, bone meal we can do. Let's get 16 of that. Boom, boom. Good. Okay. Let's cruise on up. I should have enough simple catalysts. I do. What was I making here? I don't remember. We'll put it in here, though, because I'm sure it was something important. So, these guys in like so. We need the nether wart and the bone meal. And, of course, we need our orb. And we do need the master blood orb for this, I believe, to get this guy cooking. So, this is going to give us the strength and catalyst that we require. Very good, very good. And, from there, we can then make the null catalyst as well. And this is going to give us some extra catalyst which is exactly what I want to see because I know for a fact that we're going to need them at some point in time in the near future with blood magic you know we're losing a little bit out of our system but really that's that's a nice slow drop and as long as our orb is charging we're usually pretty good so that's great um, overall things are good let's just I'm gonna wait I'll cut the video here and we will uh, get this going. Ah, uh, nothing like duping an item. <laughs> this is great. I love it. But yeah, so I'm getting a whole bunch of null catalysts here. I did make some more simple catalysts because I'm sure we'll need them at some point in time. I, I, that's The one thing that I've learned about this pack is, you know what? You might as well make a lot of everything because I guarantee you, you're going to need it at some point in time. <laughs> You need all the farms, all the everything. So, you know, it's one of those things. But at least we are getting this thing done. And this is all to get the Tier 5 orb, hopefully here. Um, maybe this episode, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Setting up demons and all that is a whole nother ball game. But yeah, so we're getting a decent amount of Null Catalyst here. And these are going to allow us to get the Arcane Plinth. This guy right here which you need to make the demon stuff, okay? So let's get that last one doubling. And we need to make two arcane pedestals and put them on our altar. So let's grab a few arcane. I think it's 10 per? I'm not positive on that. And is it like this? Okay, it's doing something. Yeah, I get two. Okay, good. All right, so it was seven, and you get two of them. That's good to know. We will cruise back on up to our area. And, yeah, so these guys then need to get 
transferred into the arcane plinth. This should be done. So we have a whole bunch of null catalysts. That's good. I'm going to keep the one on me. And these guys are starting to fill out. Oops, I should grab my orb before I forget as well. And throw that in the chest so that it automatically gets placed in once I remove these. Good. And we should be starting to fill up our blood network again, which we are. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have the Null Catalyst and the Arcane Pedestals. Let's head on over to our Elven Portal, which thankfully is still up, even though it's the next day. It seems like it's almost self-sustaining. We're losing a bit over here because of the way these spreaders work and everything, but overall not bad. So we put in all of these items. Boom, boom, boom. And it should give us back the Arcane Plinth. Awesome. Love it. Now, there is some other things that we need from Blood Magic. Um, I can't remember what they're called, though. Let me find them here. It's like a pedestal of some kind. And that's going to allow us to place the materials needed to summon the demons. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called, though. I cannot recall. I'll have to find it here and uh, get set up for the demons. Okay, so we have the arcane plinth. Now we need arcane pedestals to go along with it. And those guys are the items that we made originally to make the plinth. So we need at least six, I think. If, I'm pretty sure we need up to like 18 or something like that, but for right now, I'm pretty sure we can get away with six. Um, so let's do that and get these guys going because we want to summon demons. I want my tier five blood orb already. I tell you, I know, I know. It's getting crazy. But yeah, so uh, I'm going to let these guys cook up. We have the plinth. Um, we've pretty much gotten to the point here that's good where we need to come up with a spot to summon the demons um now i think for right now i'm just going to summon the demons out here somewhere out in the wild it might be cool to have like a demon summoning area um, but I'm not positive. I've never actually summoned a demon with blood magic. I've never gotten that far. Um, so I'm not sure if it needs to have line of sight to the sky or if there's any other restrictions on it. So there's our pedestals and our plinth. That's good. So let's jump on out. Actually, let's see. What do we need to summon a demon? I know we're going to need our bound blade to kill said demon um, so that we can hopefully get the demon soul and then we need I think like two Terre if I remember correctly is this it? yeah Terre oh that's what I was making I remember now but can I make it? yes okay I can so we had this and I needed two catalysts as well Okay, so this, like this, two catalysts, good. Let's just put in our Magician's Blood Orb to get this guy fired up. And this should give us the two Terry that we need. And then it's a piece of clay. Oh man, I was already prepared. Sweet. Okay, good. So there's our two Terry and clay. I believe that is all we need to summon the first baddie. Now, I'm not too concerned about these demons just saying because we're pretty strong so let's see I'm going to set up the summoning thing here I gotta get clear out a little bit of this grass I'm gonna set up the summoning circle and we will get this thing up and running okay so here's our I believe the most basic possible circle that you can do and I'm pretty sure we just place down the items on the pedestals and then what? Do we need to place in like a blood orb or something? We may need to. Uh, let's grab our orb and see what we need to do there. I'm hoping that the tier... F I would assume that the tier 4 orb is probably required for this. And I'm assuming that we place it in the middle. 
Oh, God. Okay, that scared me. Uh, activate the sword. Good. I think I need to kill it with the sword. I don't know for sure. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Ow. Ow. Don't hit me, bro. Okay. We killed him. We got a demon crystal. That isn't what we needed, is it? Um, used to spawn demons. We need a demon soul, don't we? Uh, okay, let's see. Blood orb. This guy. We need a demon blood shard. Okay. Let's figure that out, I guess. We have a demon crystal, but we need a demon blood shard. Maybe I need to summon a different demon for that. This is all new to me. I'm experiencing as you guys are. Okay, so I assumed I needed to summon a demon. Apparently, no. I need to summon an elemental. So, let's jump on down and do this. Now, I'm not sure if this actually needs to be killed with the uh, bound blade. From what I'm reading, or what I've read, is it doesn't. So, and that's good, because we can basically then one-shot this guy, which is fantastic. Um, the demon crystal allows you to summon the same mob again um, in here without using the terre and all that kind of stuff, but you do have to use a weak blood shard for it. So, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, six terre around like so, and once we place in the orb, it should use them all up, and this should summon an earth elemental. Okay, so let's get the earth elemental going, and I'm just going to kill it with the crossbow. There it is right there. Boom, and we got... We got what we needed, the demon blood shard, awesome. Okay, so now this guy needs to go on here to make our next level of blood orb. It can also make stronger version of teleposers and stuff. It's also used to make some more advanced things like the awakened activation crystal and other things like that. So we need to put 75,000 LP into this thing, which is a lot. Um, all things considered, we, we hold 42, so it's about two full pools worth of blood. Now, hopefully this will just work. It should. Um, in the meantime, we can put away some of this other stuff that is dis deactivated. It is good. Not that my mana probably couldn't handle it at this point. Aha! We have it. Oh, nice. All right. So... Let's take this off, attune it to our cells, and get this guy charging up. So as you can see, our blood pool is now over a million. And if you look at the little lever thing on the left-hand side of the screen there, I'm pretty sure we can get up to 10 million LP now in our system. How sweet is that? We no longer need to worry about LP. Oh, that is amazing. 10 million is a ridiculous number. I love it. I should actually probably pump some of this back in. Maybe I will. Um, just to help fuel it a little bit. It won't make that big of a difference because you can only pump in so much at a time. But it should enhance our current essence pool and all that kind of stuff. Awesome. So now we have the ability to summon lots of cool things and progress on with blood magic, but we have tier five. We have tier five. Now, I want to just take a quick look and see what all we can use this for. Of course, it can pretty much be used for all of the different crafting things in the alchemical chemistry set. Um, of course, it can be used for all of the basic stuff as well. But I'm sure there's a few items um, that this guy can only make, including blood armor. If I'm not mistaken, that is a thing. Uh, Sigil of the Whirlwind is really cool, too. There's all these great sigils that we can definitely look into pretty soon. An energy bazooka. Well, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> but yeah, so there's lots of cool different things that you can build now. And 
We will probably get into some blood armor. I think that's going to be one of the best possible blood, you know, armors in the game, maybe. Well, no, probably not. It's probably the draconic stuff. But yeah, so that's a thing. We definitely need to get some of these rune of the orbs as well um, over time. But uh, they're kind of annoying to make. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. But yeah, so anyways, uh, I'm just going to keep on looking through, see what we can do. Air sigil, make you fly. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so we're kind of short on time, but I want to make a little improvement to our power generation up here. So the solar panels and whatnot are doing fantastic work, but they're doing such good work that they're pretty much always full. Um, and this hyper energy node is doing its best. It's transferring out quite a bit of energy, if I'm not mistaken. We may need more of these. I haven't tested that. But I, I think what's restricting us is the energy pipe from extra utilities that I've never really used. So I don't know for sure, but I think that's our restriction. So instead, what I would like to try to do is I want to get some of our big bad boy cryo stabilized flux ducts so let's make as many as we can a three we can make three apparently okay resonant all right this is the thing we need to make these okay um we don't have any petroleum uh yeah pyro what is this called it petrotheum dust okay let's make a whole bunch of that okay i just made 60 that's awesome. Okay, so resonant. Uh, let's get these guys made. Boom. Make as many as I can. I'm going to need more Enderium gears. And that actually leads me into probably next episode. And something that we're going to build there. Bam. 15. That's not bad. Now, I already have these guys. These guys need to be dipped in gelid cryothium. So let's get some cryothium dust going. Let's make a decent amount. I do have a liquid transposer ready to go for that stuff. Uh, 64. Beautiful. All right. So right over here is basically my gelid cryothium container. So we'll smelt that down and get these guys started to go. Um, hopefully you guys like this episode. I know that we've been a little bit magic heavy the last few episodes. But, uh, you know, these are the things that are required to get us to those awakened cores, right? We needed the Terra Steel. We need Void Metal as well. That's another thing that we need to work on. Um, and then we need to get into the awakened Draconian blocks and all that. So this is a whole nother ball game, which is Mana Steel, Thaumium. So without all of this good production of the magic stuff... I can't make the creative energy cell. So this is one of the things about expert mode, and I hope you guys understand that, is you need to develop all the mods together. If you don't, well, you won't be able to make everything. Simple as that. So, again, hope you guys liked the episode. Subscribe, all that stuff. We are so close to 10K as well. We might have already reached it by the time this video goes live, and I would be ecstatic. I am so looking forward to 10K. And I'm probably, once I reach 10K, I think for my 10K special or event is what I'm going to call it, I think I'm going to do a live stream. Now, a decently long live stream. I'm not positive on, you know, when or anything like that yet, but I'll set a time and I'll release a video and all that jazz to make it so that, you know, it's known about. Um, oh, man, these look so great. I so don't have enough, though, do I? That's fine. It's fine. It's not every day you get something looking this good. Cruising on through your base. Look at those things. Ah, oh, awesome. Uh, but, yeah, so it's going to be a live stream of some sort for sure. And we will... I will let you guys know, so don't worry about that. We will definitely find out and all that jazz. And we can go and build from there. Okay, I might need to make a few more of these to complete this job. To yeah, oh man, I'm like too short. Oh no, too short. 
That's not great. <laughs> All right. I need to get some more Enderium gears going. But we're out of Enderium. What? That sucks. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be doing that off camera because this is going to uh, dip down quite nicely. And... I'll see you all next time. So, again, I will post and all that kind of stuff. What's going to go on, when the live stream is going to happen, and all that jazz. But uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there if you can make it out. If not, the VOD will be available um, on Twitch. I probably won't upload it to YouTube. And uh, we can go from there. Thank you so much for all the support. We're almost at 10K, the push to 10K. And, yeah, we can go from there. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.